Hi there, it's Beauty Junkie. Welcome to my channel. Today I am showing you my first purchase from Lisa Eldridge. I got one of her lip kits and I picked up an extra two lipsticks. So we're gonna try those all on today. I'm super excited. These feel super luxurious. The packaging is so elegant. I just, I'm very impressed so far. I haven't even applied it to my lips yet. Just want to quickly show you some swatches of everything that I purchased. And I know you like, what is this? What is on my arm? Well, this is a lip liner. This is and I don't know that she's really sold lip liners before. This is also a new lip gloss. These are her velvet lipsticks. These are all the blush color. And those three items came in this velvet pouch as a little kit and it's super velvet velvety and has a gold zipper like super super cute has her little logo on the charm there there's the L L with the little lips it's super cute um, perfect kind of little brush bag or whatever I mean it looks super luxurious um, but so those three items came in the kit and these are the two other lipsticks. So this is Velvet Muse and Velvet Beauty. So different tones going on here, but these three are all blush. Just want to note on packaging and shipping, this was like a pre-order type of deal. So she had her launch, which I think was early on a Saturday. I had to set my alarm, make sure I got the time zone right. Um, and luckily I got everything I wanted, but I really did make sure I got up early because I didn't want to miss out on the colors that I wanted. Um, but everything came today, perfect shape, came through USPS. Everything's good. Um, I got a little free sticker thing with my order, which is actually a 3d sticker so these are actually velvet and you can feel the texture on all these which i think is so perfect these are all three individual stickers i don't know where to put them but very cute and then of course the bag as i said like you can use this as a makeup bag uh, accessory bag but this is all the packaging so each lipstick comes in a box like this has her name on it, has the name of the product. So this is the Gloss Embrace. And it's pretty much the same packaging as the lipsticks. They have gold and white going on here. This is the box for the lip liner. I'm sorry, I'm blinding you a little bit. This is the Enhance and Define Lip Pencil. And these are the rest of the boxes. So I got five products plus the pouch. And I think everything came to around $150. So this is a, a pricey line, but all she really has is lipsticks and she has jewelry, which also very expensive. Um, but I've never tried her lipsticks before. I heard really good things about them, but you know, they are coming from another country and then plus tax. Um, I think that kind of deterred me before from buying them, but this year I have my new channel. I went all out, didn't get every lipstick. I was curious about Rainbow Spill because I heard so much about that one last year, but it's not available anymore. So that's a little bit disappointed, but it, a little bit disappointing, but it seemed like it was a really pink shade, which I'm not like a super fan of, pink or red or like, you know, a little bit scary to me, but I have super pink lipsticks. It's just when, I'm buying something that's expensive, it's not on sale, I get a little bit nervous. So I tried to play it safe with these shades and they look really pretty. Um, so as far as the rest of my makeup goes, I used for the second time my new Sicily foundation. This is the anti-aging one, Font de Tint Anti-Age. And um, I'm really liking it. This is just two pumps applied with a damp sponge. And you know, it's a really light layer. It's really natural looking. I could definitely add more coverage if I really wanted to, but I just like how fresh this feels. And then I also try, um, use the kind of 
highlighter, concealer, pen, brightening pen, the Stilo Lumiere. And I really like this too, just to brighten up a little bit. It's not like gonna give you a lot of, you know, coverage like a, a concealer, but I could see adding this on top of a concealer. I didn't do any concealer today, as you might be able to tell. But it's just a really easy pen natural finish. Um, and I wanted to kind of keep my face really bare because I wanted to try some of these lipsticks as a blush. So I don't have any powder on or anything like that. And I just did mascara and brows. So I want to do like the full blush color look. So I have the blush lip liner, lip gloss, and so I want to do this trio first and then see what it's like. We'll take it off and then try on the next one. So I feel like this year has been the year of not only nail polishes for me, but lipsticks. Like I was never really into lipsticks before. And honestly, this year doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I don't know about you, I still have to wear a mask everywhere. So you can't see my lips, so I don't know, probably not the smartest, but anyway, that's what we're doing. So this um, lip liner, a little darker than I thought it would be, but I know it's gonna go with the lipstick. Um, yeah, I think I would have chose maybe a more neutral one because you could have um, sort of customized your bag with whatever you wanted. Um, but this is probably one of the darker lip pencils that I own now. So we're gonna try it out. This reads a little bit reddish pink on me. Um, it feels very smooth um a little bit kind of a waxy finish i know lip liners is kind of a perfect balance you're trying to achieve you don't want it like too waxy or too smooth you want it to be a little bit dry so it has some staying powder but this one blends out pretty nicely it seems um i'm not sure how long it's gonna last it seems like it's kind of one of those ones that can really blend out really easily but we're gonna try it all right on to the lipstick so I've since I've swatched them I've kind of already ruined them their newness but I've noticed on the bullet you're not gonna be able to see this but there's like little like squares all the way around the bullet and it's almost like it was digitally created or 3D created because it's like kind of a graphic grid on the outside of the lipstick, which I find very interesting. It's not like super smooth. It's got like this texture and I think that's probably has to do with the velvet finish, but it's really interesting looking and it definitely is not shiny or satin. It looks kind of matte, but then when you see the tip, it's a little more shiny. So don't know what to expect with this texture, this velvet texture, but um, we're gonna try it. This is a little bit dark for me, so we're gonna see. Interesting. It feels very smooth, very easy to apply. I mean, very quickly I got a lot of pigment. This is a little bit dramatic and dark for me. Definitely a look, but really appropriate for fall. Um, it feels really comfortable. It doesn't feel too dry, but it's definitely not like a, a moisturizing lipstick or anything like that. You're not going to get any moisturizing benefits from it but it feels good like if you don't like matte you may find a happy medium with this one because it's not super matte and we'll see kind of how it dries down um i watched lisa's video on like 
sort of different looks you can get from one lipstick and essentially you need to apply it layers with a brush um, you know painting the bullet sort of doing layers and layers and layers and you can get like a lighter tone from the lipsticks that you might find you like better rather than just applying directly from the bullet onto your lips like I did because this is essentially the darkest it's gonna be and you may not quite like the amount of pigment that comes from it so just kind of applying a really light thin layer with a brush you actually might like better um, and I might do that for the next sets of lipsticks I just totally forgot about it um, but I don't mind doing straight from the bullet either I think a lot of people do it that way and it's kind of how we've been taught to expect oh this is what the color is supposed to look like but I think Lisa's trying to come from a more makeup artist perspective and like you don't have to go full pigment with these lipsticks and they are very pigmented I I mean I didn't love the lip liner color to be honest at first but it I mean the lipstick looks great I mean I think it goes well with my skin tone um, it's not too warm or brown I am enjoying it. Um, I kind of want to try this one as a blush, but I might be better suited with the beauty because that one's more pink. I'm not really sure. It's still feeling really good. It hasn't dried out. I know it hasn't been too long. I do want to try the lip gloss on top just to get a feel for what this does for this whole trio. So this is the component. It's like a short, fat little lip gloss. And I didn't talk about ounces. So this is 4.5 milliliters, 0.15 fluid ounces, made in Italy. So the lipstick's supposed to last 18 months. The gloss is supposed to last 36 months. That's surprising, you would think it would last not as long. Okay, so the lip gloss, yes, 0.15 fluid ounces, 4.5 milliliters. The lipsticks, they are 3.5 grams, 0.12 ounces. Okay, you get a little bit more with the lipstick, or with the lip gloss. It has this little doe foot applicator, a bit shorter than your typical lip gloss but still really cute gorgeous packaging I mean all of the lipstick packaging is wonderful they're all magnetic and they're this brush gold they have the Lisa emblem very nice super luxurious they're weighty great lipstick like just great packaging all around. And I think the lip gloss follows suit. Um, the lip liner packaging, it's kind of, I think the lid is a little bit, the cap is a little bit fancier because it's got this kind of beveled edge. But otherwise it looks like a regular lip liner. So the lip liner is um, 1.12 grams 0 0.04 ounces this last 24 months and you can see sort of it's a wood you sharpen you gotta sharpen it did not come with a sharpener but this is what we have on my lips right now lip gloss faded a little bit so this is the full velvet blush trio lip liner lipstick and lip gloss all put on at once The lip gloss feels nice. Um, I'd have to, because I have lipstick underneath, I have to really, the texture feels slippery, doesn't feel sticky. It just feels like a nice gloss. Not sure this gloss is like super amazing or worth it, um, but it is nice. Um, I'd have to like see it on its own on my lips to determine like, oh, would I use this like every day? on its own or with a lip liner. But on top it looks, I think it adds a little spicy something extra. Um, I think the, the lipsticks are just so beautiful on their own. 
at least this one. Not sure you need it, but I think it, it does lighten up the lipstick a little bit if you're looking for that. All right guys, before I move on, I wanna put on some blush because I'm feeling a little naked. And I'm gonna do Velvet Beauty, which is the pinker one. And even though I haven't tried this yet, I wanna just quickly put something on my cheeks. I've never really done this with lipstick, but I, I see a lot of people using her lipstick as blush. Oh wow. And a little bit goes a long way. <laughs> um, but this is pretty. Yeah. Nice little pink glow going on. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Quick and easy. I like a two-in-one product. All right, so um, just took off blush. Now I'm gonna put on Velvet Muse. It's a bit more of a nude tone. So I'm gonna use a nude lip liner and I only picked up the one from Lisa Eldridge, Eldridge. So I'm gonna be using my new one from Sicily. This is the Fido Libra's Perfect Lip Liner in Nude. Looks like this and has a little brush on the end. So I will try to apply Muse in with the brush. And sorry the foundation's kind of wearing off, but um, and I probably can't really see that lip liner, but that's okay, it's there. So I wanted to go out of my comfort zone a little bit. This is kind of a brownie nude, we're gonna see. Hopefully it has some pink in it, I think it does. Um, but we're gonna try the brush just to look for a different effect. It, yeah. It's definitely gonna be a light layer. I like the effect and how light it is and how sort of natural this look is created with the brush. But it's a little slow. But this is a nice color. I think because this is nude, I'm actually just gonna go with the bullet. Oh yeah. Yeah, I don't think At least on me, there's not really a need to layer with this one because it's not like super dark. And really I want the full pigmented effect and not necessarily like a light layer of nude. But the first one, blush, I could definitely see using a lighter layer with that one. Ooh. This feels really nice. These lipsticks feel luxurious, yeah. I think I may like them better than Pat McGrath. Um, hopefully the packaging doesn't break like paths, but these are really nice, especially like they're kind of that matte, but not matte formula, kind of that in between. I know my line is like not perfect or anything, but this is a really, a nude that I can get down with, um, because it's not too light or orange or kind of that weird beige, like it. It adds color, but not like a noticeable crazy amount of color. Like people aren't gonna be like, oh, you're wearing lipstick. I mean, they might, cause I don't always wear lipstick that often. But it's one of those colors that you can just get away with wearing every day. And I mean, it just kind of becomes part of you. So really nice color. This is Velvet Muse. Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty close to the swatch. Um, I think it might look slightly pinker on the, my arm than on my face, but um, yeah, really nice. Surprising. I was a little worried about this one, but I think 
If you like kind of a, a browner, rosier nude, you're gonna like this. Just for fun, I want to see what the lip gloss does on top of the nude color because this is a bit pinker and rosier. I just want to see if it transforms the shade at all. Mm, I think it's a little bit rosier, definitely shinier. I'm not sure it really transforms the color. I think this color, the lip gloss isn't like so pigmented that it's gonna like transform your lipstick shades, but it's pretty. I think it makes it a little bit more feminine, jazzed up. If you wore the nude during the day, you could put on the lip gloss at night and just get a different feel, just a little bit more enhanced of a look. But the shade's pretty much the same. All right, just thought I'd show you that. All right, before I move on to the last lipstick, I wanted to do the nude lip liner from Sicily plus just the lip gloss and blush. Just so you can get a real sense of the lip gloss color. Which is one of those pinky nudes that is really like a possible your lips but better shade. For me, I like to make my lips deeper than what they actually are because I need a little bit of color to show that I have lips um, and I don't have large lips, so I need a little bit extra and I think this provides that. But it's a super natural shade. Like this is one of those shades that probably, I don't know, matches my actual lips, um, you know, the most. Um, and it because it's pretty sheer you're gonna see a lot of you know what's going on underneath if you have scars or spots it's one of those see-through lip glosses it's not like opaque or anything like that but it's not like you know the most amazing color but it's pretty it's easy it's not sticky I think a lot of people are gonna enjoy the formula uh, but not like revolutionary or anything. I think her lipsticks are definitely where she shines because that formula is pretty unique and incredible and just a wonderful sort of matte alternative. Um, but the lip gloss, you know, it's nice. Not necessary. Alright, so I'm gonna take this off. My lips are taking a beating and we're gonna try beauty. All right, so this is Beauty. It's this pinky sort of shade here. This is the swatch for it. And um, I'm not gonna do lip liner again because it's a little much after everything I've put on my lips, but I am gonna try the pencil again. And if I feel like I, I don't need the pencil, then I'm just gonna go straight on. I think I was probably most attracted to beauty when I was looking at the website. I had a really hard time. And I think that's why I picked up three lipsticks. I was a little scared by this one though because it looks pretty pink. Oh, this formula is just really nice. I wish she did have some other formulas, like some satins or something for the folks that don't really like this kind of matte looking lipstick. I mean, I think she's absolutely right about the brush and layering. I think it adds a really nice natural effect that maybe lipstick, people that don't really like wearing lipstick would appreciate just a little bit of color like this and it's not really like super high maintenance. I do want to go in with the the bullet though because I don't know again this isn't like I like the shade so I'm not afraid to go in and not that I didn't like blush it's just really dark for me.
I like this shade a lot more than I thought I would. I was really afraid it was going to show up way too pink on me. But it is like one of those perfect shades. Oh yeah, I really like this one. Mm. Okay, so I like all of the shades, but this one I feel like can go with a lot more of my makeup looks and just going out in life in general. I think it's just gonna enhance my lips in a way that I'm most comfortable with. Like a nude is really more of a brown tone and that warm tone, which is pretty and it, it's definitely like one of those lipsticks that you just kind of know is there, but it's not there. Whereas with this you notice it's a little bit more there and it, it's a little bit more of a flattering enhancing shade for me but it's not too dark and it's not too light I think you know if I did my lip liner properly and it, it could be a little bit more crisp um, but this is a really pretty shade I mean almost like the lip gloss it, it really presents like this better version of your lips, um, at least on me and my pale skin. Yeah, I like beauty, Velvet Beauty. If you are pale like me and you're considering getting beauty and you're worried about it being too pink, I wouldn't worry. I think this is a really nice shade. Um, I wish it was a little bit richer. Yeah, I think it it could be like even a tad more pink and a little bit richer but it's kind of that really perfect like not too much pink so i'm no i'm talking a lot about this but i am impressed who knew who knew where where have i been why did I not get this before? Sometimes you just gotta trust, you know? Okay. Um, I don't wanna put the lip gloss on because I'm kind of done with attacking my lips, but I think the lip gloss honestly would go great on top of this one as well. I mean, it's such a, kind of a, in the same line, same family, that it would go well. And honestly, I mean, I wouldn't put this dark of a lip liner with this, but I think you can blend it out and make it work because it's kind of that darker pinkish tone vibe these are really comfortable and I feel like because they're not such a thick and waxy lipstick they're not gonna stick to my teeth as easily and they're not like super thick like you don't have to put tons of layers on and this is kind of what I felt when I first tried Pat McGrath's mattes. I felt like, wow, this is a different feeling than I've ever felt before. But I think these feel even better. For sure. And I know, like, people don't really talk about Pat's lipsticks anymore. But they used to be, like, when they first came out, they were like, oh, this is good. Love Lisa Eldridge. I'm super impressed. Um, I can't speak to the wear time on these. Feeling they will stay pretty much through eating and drinking, but I don't I have a feeling because they're not super hard or matte, they're not gonna like completely last. And I'm not sure they're gonna like really dry down later. Um, maybe. I have a feeling they're gonna transfer, which I'm okay with. Um, some of the, it's hard to get a formula like really comfortable that really lasts, just because that means things kind of have to tighten and harden up. Um, but I really like everything. I think if I had to choose a color or a product, um, I like the lip gloss and liner. I don't think that they're necessary unless you don't have these colors and you're already buying something on the website. And uh, for whatever reason, you just kind of want to get everything. Sure, go for it. But these are not super necessary. I think what's really great and unique are her lipsticks. And as far as tones, like it's hard to say like what's going to be the best tone for you and what's really going to work for everyone. But just kind of going off of all of these, I think 
you know, picking up three different kinds of shades makes sense. Like this is a really dramatic nighttime fall shade that I think people are going to appreciate. And she has a few of these, like not like that are darker and more dramatic uh, that you can choose from. I like blush because I think it's kind of the safer of all the choices that she has in the darker tones. And it's really pretty. Um, for nude, Muse is great. She also has other options. I think some of the new, I think it was a newer shade that she has that's a nude that's a little bit more 90s and more trendy. I think that one sold out pretty quickly. I didn't pick that one up because I felt like it's a little too brown for me. But this was a really nice nude that I actually thought was flattering on me. I, to me, nudes like this that are a bit more brown and beige or I find it hard to get excited about but I thought that one was really nice but these are very different so it's hard to say which one's better it's all about your style and taste this one is kind of that happy medium shade that I have right now that's you know a little bit more pinky or nude and you could consider this a nude um, but it's definitely like an everyday shade day or night um, and people aren't going to be like, oh, she's wearing lipstick or look at her makeup. Like, it's just going to make you feel pretty, look pretty, and just a little bit more polished, add some color to your face, especially if you're my skin tone. It's going to be that nice happy medium. So I think this one, Beauty, is my favorite. But these two are also a really good options to have in your collection for those days that you want to go totally nude and have more of a dramatic eye or you want a more dramatic lip. Um, so, I'm happy with everything, really. Um, these are nice, but I don't think they're worth the money. Like, especially if you're shipping from another country and all that, and taxes, like, they're okay. They seem nice enough. They're not, like, super special, though, like the lipsticks are. And gotta love this packaging. Super cute. I mean, how nice is this? super soft. All right, guys, that's it for my Lisa Eldridge video. These are my first Lisa Eldridge purchases, and I have to say the lipsticks are incredible and different. Um, please let me know your thoughts, what you're thinking about picking up. Do you have these already? Do you love them? How's the wear time? Please comment below. Click like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.